BeatID empowers creators with the information about how and where their music is being used on the social web. You're able to upload a track and we'll scan social platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and many more. Then we'll link you to every place that your track appears on these social platforms. So let's take a look at how BeatID works and I'll give you all the secrets you need to take control of your art. You can find BeatID in your BeatStar studio at studio.beatstars.com. From this page here, let's go ahead and click Start Tracking. Now we can click Add Asset and Upload File. From here we can upload a new file or select a previously uploaded file. You can upload any full song or beat for which you own the full rights to beat ID. Now we can enter some basic info about the track. I'm going to rename my asset first. Now let's select a production date. The date you set for your production date will be the date that beat ID will use as the starting point for searching the social web for your material. BeatID will track the social web for anything uploaded on and after that date that uses your beat or song. For example, if you first published a track one year ago, but you set your production date for today, BeatID will not search for any of the uses before today. You should set your production date as the day you first published that beat or song on the web. This will guarantee BeatID is tracking for the full lifespan of your beat or song. After we set our production date, let's choose some artwork. No one will be able to see your artwork or name but you. These are just to help you identify your assets within BeatID. Now we can click Next Step to continue. Here we'll see our monthly costs and we can select a payment method and start tracking. Once that process is complete, we'll see our track we just uploaded in the Assets section. This is where you'll be able to manage all the tracks you've submitted to BeatID. Here you'll see the number of copies we've found, which are all the individual uses of your music we have located on the social web, the date the asset was added, and the current status. If you see a green tracking status, that means we're currently scanning the social web for any copies of your track. Other statuses you may see include draft, which means you started to add your asset but didn't start tracking, or processing failed, which may mean there was a problem processing your payment. BeatID scans the social web every Saturday, so if your asset has copies, you'll begin to see those appear the first Saturday from your upload date. For beats that are tracking and have copies, you can click this Show Details button. By clicking this Actions button, you'll be able to pause your tracking if you no longer wish to have tracking for this asset, or you can delete the asset completely. You're also able to click this Show Copies button to bring up a list of all the copies of this asset BeatID was able to locate. This text here is the title of the copy taken right from the source it was located from. This time here is the length of the entire piece, and that's the date BeatID located it. On the bottom left, we can see what percentage of the asset was actually used. And to the right, we see what percentage of the copy included our asset. And this meter shows at what rough timestamp our asset appeared. If we want to see this copy, we can click the link here to be taken directly to the page it lives on. These purple dots with the 10 represent the icon for the match type snippet 10. To help you easily identify how much of your asset is being used, we organize copies into match types. These match types are represented by their own icons and are based on the duration your asset is used in each copy. The match types are exact match, a one-to-one -one match of your asset, full match, a copy that contains 100% of your asset's content but also contains additional content. Partial match. 100% of the copy matches your asset, but does not contain the entirety of your asset. Snippet. A match that occurs when part of your asset appears as part of a video. Snippet 30. A snippet in which the match content is 30 seconds or less. Snippet 10. A snippet in which the match content is 10 seconds or less. And Snippet 5. When the match content is 5 seconds or less. Now you're ready to start using Beat ID. Once you get your first copies of your assets, if you find any songs using your beats, make sure to add them to BeatStars Publishing to begin monetizing your work. To see a step-by-step -step guide on how to add your tracks to BeatStars Publishing, check out this video here linked in the top right of the screen. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos like this, subscribe to BeatStars and check out this playlist here.